This spin is called the cradle. Although a beginner movement, it's particular in that we spin in an unusual direction. It's true that up to this point, at least for right-handed people, we always spin in a clockwise direction. This time for the cradle, we're going to spin in the opposite direction. We're going to use the grip that we used for the carousel, which is called full bracket grip. This means that our low hand will be placed on the pole with the palm facing up, index finger pointing downward. The strong hand is placed up near the forehead. This is important. It shouldn't be placed too high up or down too low. It really has to be in front of the forehead. The foot that is usually on the outside will now become the inside leg with respect to the pole. It should be placed closely to the base of the pole. The new outside leg is placed slightly behind as it will give us the momentum. This outside leg is going to trace a large circle so that we wrap at the level between our abdomen and thighs horizontally around the bar. That means that we are here, low hand in full bracket, high hand placed near the forehead, inside foot close to the base of the pole, and we lift off with a very straight outside leg. We bend our knees and hold our inner thighs together. To do this movement, our body needs to be held horizontally. The body needs to be as parallel to the floor as possible. This is both for aesthetic reasons, but also so that we can spin. So we really need to curl our bodies, I often say into a tight little ball, with our knees close to the chest and our heels touching our buttocks. Unless we do this, the weight of our legs will pull us down and we won't be able to take off. That's why it's important to have the first leg take off and the second leg join it while simultaneously curling the abdomen around the pole. To get out of this spin, we place our inside foot on the ground, we straighten our body, lift the outside leg and hook it onto the pole, which is called a B hook. This spin seems complicated, but it's only a question of learning the technique and getting over our apprehension. It's very pleasurable to do once we have mastered the technique, and there are many variations of this spin that I'm going to show you now. This spin is complicated in the beginning because it's somewhat scary, but once you get over this fear, you'll be a lot more comfortable with the movement. Look for other videos with more spins at the intermediate and advanced levels.